Did you hear what happened to Jessica the other day? Mm. Alex totally yelled at her about the project. I heard the whole thing. It was really embarrassing. I mean, why did she even work here? She's not a good worker at all. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an interesting meeting. You know her? I heard it's Bing. <laughs> he apparently got dumped because he isn't marriage material. I believe it. <laughs> There's no way she actually deserved that rate. <laughs> I agree. Oh my gosh, Marissa, did you hear that someone this morning got sick in the middle of presentation and left? <laughs> How embarrassing is that? That was me. Um, um, were you able to fix that report earlier? Yeah, 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 I did it this morning. Oh, okay. Gossiping has a negative chain reaction. Complaining is contagious. Studies show that negativity can increase aggression toward random, uninvolved people, and that the more negative your attitude, the more likely you are to have a negative attitude in the future. Studies also show that long-term stress, like that generated by complaining, actually shrinks your hippocampus. That's the region of your brain that affects reasoning and memory. The saying goes, when people gossip with you, they'll gossip about you. And the thing about gossip is, it all sounds interesting and juicy until it's about you. The reason why we entertain and enjoy gossip is because it makes us feel superior for a moment. For a moment you think you're smarter, sharper, faster, better than the person you're gossiping about. Not realizing that the tables can turn very, very quickly and not realizing that that foundation of your superiority is built on shifting sands. It's the weakest foundation to build your superiority on someone else's inferiority. If you don't want to hear gossip about yourself, stop gossiping about others.